One of the last steps in making the dress is putting in the zipper. The zipper's put in entirely on the wrong side. One of the first things I'll do is to match the waistline seams and thin them. But before I do, I'd like to show you how I stitch the blossom skirt together. When I reach the side seam line, I taper down in this manner, instead of stitching straight across to the end. This will allow the placket to lie smoothly at the point where the zipper crosses the waistline seam. Next, I'll close the zipper opening with a basting stitch. This basting stitch goes right in on the seam line and not only holds the two edges together, but will keep them from stretching. And you'll find you always get a smoother finish if you'll stitch from the bottom up. This could have been basted by hand, but machine stitching holds it more firmly. And now to press the seam open. And now before we place the zipper in place, let's look at the zipper. This is a slider tab or pull, which is usually at the top, right up under the arm. And at the top of a dress zipper is a bridge or top stop. And the teeth, when closed, form the chain. And here is a bottom stop. The bottom stop is placed at the notch, which is the bottom of the opening where your seam is backstitched. And we must turn the zipper face down. It's important for us to distinguish between the back and front. This is the back. And this is the front. Now we want to secure the zipper to the back seam allowance and stitch from the bottom to the top. So I'll swing this around. As I bring that seam under the foot, I'll slip the bulk of the, fat of the dress out of the way. And we want to be sure that we put the full width of the chain on the back seam allowance and the edge of the chain along the seam line. Stitch the tape to the single thickness of the back seam using the regular presser foot and keep the edge of the foot against the chain. And let me repeat. Place your zipper so that the edge of the chain is along the seam line. That is your guide. And the full width of the chain is on the back seam allowance. It really isn't necessary for us to pin it in place, since we'll be checking the position of the zipper chain every two or three inches. For the next step, I will use a zipper foot so I can stitch close to the zipper. And 
Then turn the zipper right side up and folding a seam allowance right close to the zipper. I'm going to put a row of top stitching along the fold, the full length of the tape. The purpose of this stitching is to hold the zipper in place away from the seam line so it will be concealed when the dress is worn. My first two rows of stitching have been done from the bottom up and this last row will be done in the same direction. Next, we need to spread our dress and let the zipper fall in place face down on the front of the dress. And this is the direction our final stitching will take. Across the bottom, up along the zipper and back across the top. Then we need to open our dress and slip it under the presser foot. Smooth it out and be sure that you don't catch any of the rest of the dress in your stitching. I want to stitch across the end of the zipper. So I put my needle down right on this first row of stitching. This was the anchoring stitch. By starting at this point on the wrong side, we know the stitching will be starting on the seam line on the right side. Notice this pleat. When the zipper is placed face down over the front seam allowance, this pleat is formed naturally and is necessary for concealing your zipper. Leave your needle down and turn a square corner. After you turn the corner, stitch parallel to the zipper. Keep your dress flat and smooth as you're working. As you stitch across the top of the zipper, you'll notice another pleat is formed, just like at the bottom. Then pull this thread up to the wrong side and tie them. The reason we fasten these threads by tying rather than back stitching is that the back stitching would show on the outside. And here is a method of tying threads that I think you'll find easy. Now that you can see this more clearly, I'll demonstrate on a solid colored fabric and contrasting thread. Pull the lower thread up to the surface, then hold on to both threads and tie a knot. And in order to get that knot right down on the last stitch, put your needle down in the loop and into the last stitch, and then tighten your knot by pulling down on the thread. Remove the pin, hold your thumb on the knot, 
and tighten it. Then cut your threads off, leaving a quarter to a half an inch at the end. I'm going to press the zipper lightly on the wrong side. Then if you lift the back seam allowance up, you will see the long basting stitches that we'll need to remove. Then you turn the dress right side out. and press the zipper over the tailor's ham to give it contour. And here is your finished zipper, completely concealed.